Well, praise the Lord. God bless you, man of God. Pastor Prophet Johnson, come to your life in the wonderful city of Las Vegas. God bless you, man of God. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I, th I think we need to say it together. Yes. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Apostle Everton. Happy birthday to you. We love you. Man of God, we love you very dearly. We love you. God bless you. We love you. the ministry that God has placed in your heart. It is the same spirit throughout the entirety of the body of Christ, but our personalities which add flavor to that wonderful spirit. Men of God, don't change who you are. Just go deeper and deeper and deeper Amen. into the glory of God. We love you, men of God. May God bless you with another 35 years. Another, what, 35 years? More. What? This is the 50th <laughs> chapter. <laughs> glory to God. This is a new beginning. My God. Into the 50th chapter, into a new decade. Hallelujah. Oh, my. He got at least another 50, 60 more years. Men of God, I came across a verse that I read years ago, about 34 years ago when I gave my life to the Lord. And the verse is found in Colossians 2 and uh, 15, I think it is. Having spoiled principalities and powers, Jesus made a show of them openly, yes. triumphing over them in it. In other words, that word spoil means to disarm. Jesus completely, totally, thoroughly disarmed Satan. For us. Hallelujah. For you, My God. God. Amen. So Satan has been disarmed. Then Jesus picked it up in Matthew 28, verse 18. He picked it up, Matthew 28, verse 18. He came to his disciples and he said, Behold, all power, all authority, all azusia, all, not some. If he have all, that means Satan has absolutely altogether none. He said, All authority has been given unto me. And as a consequence, go ye therefore and preach the gospel to every creature. Whenever you see a therefore in the Bible, man of God, it's good to go back and see what it is there for. And the reason it was there, because Jesus said, All power and power been given unto me and I want you to go therefore and preach this good news. Amen. Man of God as you know you are infinitely more than you, you can imagine. You are infinitely more than you can imagine. Go in the power of the Lord. Amen. And do that what you've continued to do. My Amen. God. Open the blinded eyes. Raise the dead. Cast out devils. Yes. Heal the sick. You know the Bible also said woman of God there in the book of St. Luke Jesus was excited the disciples came back excited and said, Master, even the devils are subject unto us yes. through your name. Jesus said, Behold, realize this, understand this. I have given you azuzia, I have given you power over all of the dynamite, over all of the power of the enemy. Isn't that wonderful? Now, that's what, that was before the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. If we was walking in that kind of power, man, that God, before the baptism of the Holy Ghost, what kind of power do we have now after the baptism My of the Holy Ghost? Lord. God bless you, man to God. Love God you. Bless you. Woman of God, Sister Tracy. Love you, Sister Church Tracy. family there. Stay on fire for the Lord. Go higher and higher, deeper and deeper. Amen. From glory. To glory. To glory. We're looking forward to you coming real soon. God Hallelujah. Bless you. It is the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in our eyes. Amen. And regardless of whatever you face, remember you are always royalty. royalty. Hallelujah.